So Tesla just released the Optimus Generation 2, which is its next generation humanoid robot and considered to be truly the future of AI. Now, if you're a Tesla fan, this is something you don't wanna miss, especially in the world of robotics. We're gonna take a look at this awesome Tesla Optimus trailer, and I want you to watch very closely because I'm gonna show you interesting facts about it that you may not actually know. Now, about the Tesla Optimus trailer, one thing that many people missed the last time they saw it was that even though it seemed to be doing well in the video, some folks weren't too happy about it. Well, if you didn't know, the first version of the Tesla Optimus was actually hanging hanging onto a wall with a cable. But now, this second generation of Tesla Optimus, this robot is totally on its own, walking around without any strings attached. Many times when we see robots in development, they're held up for support. As you can see in the back, this is a common sight during robot development. This indicates that they haven't perfected their balancing capabilities just yet, and they don't want their robots to endure constant challenges, as robots are quite sensitive. It's essential to understand that humanoid robots are incredibly expensive. The ones we'll explore in this video Video are not priced like computers or smartphones. They actually cost hundreds and thousands of dollars. And that's one of the key reasons why they aim not to break these things. But demonstrating that these robots can work without any support indicates that the development is further along than we thought. What was also interesting, as I mentioned earlier, was the improved balance and full body control. The squatting move was absolutely amazing, and the addition of hands was also noteworthy. Two important things about the faster hands were often overlooked, and it's crucial to discuss them. Firstly, this isn't sped up. In many robot demos, we often see things in slow motion. For instance, Google's Palm E robot, which incorporates the Palm language model, appears quite slow in its actions. The previous demo shows real-time movement that is exceptionally fast. And I haven't seen any robot that quick before. And I'll show you some other robots we have for comparison. Now, I really hope this isn't what I'm thinking it is, which is a VR teleop mode. Don't worry, I'm going to show you some clips of VR Teleop so you can get some context of what it is. So essentially, VR Teleop is where you can move robots really fast. Imagine putting on a VR headset, like a VR Meta Quest, and using that to control a robot. This helps move the robot super fast and gives you precise control. It's like you're right there with the robot, making sure it moves just how you want it to. So fingers crossed, I hope Tesla clears this up and tells us it's not in VR Teleop. If it's not, which seems likely, that's seriously impressive. It means they're super advanced in making the robot move fast and with great precision. Most robot demos you see are sped up like two or three times. But if this Tesla demo isn't sped up, then that is a very big deal. And it just means they've managed to develop some ingenious ways of making robots move smoothly. You see, a lot of robots out there walk at a turtle's pace. Imagine if we could speed them up by just 20%. That would be a game changer. Faster, more efficient robots mean they can be way more useful for us humans. So, if Tesla's got that going on, then it's a big win for everyone. Now, here's another cool thing called delicate object manipulation. Let me break it down. Other robots have tried this too. Take a look at this Sanctuary AI robot. For example, grabbing an egg. No offense to the Sanctuary AI team, but handling an egg is super tricky. Now, why am I saying this? Because Tesla's robot, with its gentle touch and precision, seems to be doing a better and awesome job. And guess what? It placed the egg exactly where it needed to be. Now, comparing it to the Sanctuary Sanctuary AI robot, which is another humanoid robot by a different company, I'd say Tesla's robot is quite impressive in handling delicate stuff with care, and it's quite more effective, I can say. Now, what's even more mind-blowing isn't just the tech itself, it's the speed of development. Just a few months back, we saw Tesla's Generation 1, and here we are with Generation 2. And what's even crazier is that other companies are jumping into the game. Just recently, Kepler dropped their own humanoid robot. And oddly enough, it bears a striking resemblance to Tesla's Optimus. Sure, Tesla might have some incredible minds and an insane engineering setup, but seeing different companies racing to create their version of a humanoid robot adds a fascinating twist. The debate online is buzzing with excitement about the future of these robots. While Kepler's walking might not be as slick, it showcases the potential of humanoid robots. Now, let's talk about the design. Tesla's Optimus has this futuristic, sleek look that I must say is the best I've seen. And, of course, kudos to the design team. Because if you can make a robot look cool and modern, then, of course, that's a big win aesthetically moving forward. Now, of course, we can't skip a robot video without mentioning Boston Dynamics and their robot called Atlas. Now, Atlas has been in the game for quite a while and is hailed as the most advanced robot globally. But there's a catch. It's not as humanoid as the Tesla bot Optimus. Atlas lacks those nimble hands and fingers, which can make a significant difference in how it interacts 
interacts with the world. Now in terms of utility, Atlas, while impressive, raises questions about when it'll hit full-scale production for use in factories. These eye-catching demos are, more often than not, just that, demos. Checking out Boston Dynamics page, you'll find they often need multiple tries to get it right. The robot faces hiccups and failures, which means it's still a work in progress. Because let's remember, this is hardware, not just software, and that's a whole different challenge. Now, let me share another cool company with you called Unitree, because they've made a pretty significant progress with their humanoid robot. And mind you, they can actually kick the robot, and it's able to stand up on its own. While it might not have the full humanoid figure or those fancy hands, I can say it's a pretty interesting development. And what makes it even more intriguing is that these robots are more budget-friendly. And I can totally imagine seeing these bots in certain towns and areas due to their cost-effectiveness and versatility. And most probably, the future might bring us these robots doing all sorts of tasks ahead. And speaking of the future, I am about to show you the next level of large language models called Embodied AI. If you're not convinced, check out our recent video where we dive into Google's Gemini and how they're planning to use Gemini Pro in massive language model robots. This is a glimpse into a future where large language models are embedded into robots, giving us a whole new way to interact with these mechanical friends. Let me show you a quick video to illustrate how these large language models currently taking over the internet can be embodied into physical agents, changing the way they interact with the world. With all the excitement surrounding large language models and generative AI, they're just taking my command and interpreting it based on the context of its large language model, which includes pop culture references such as Darth Vader. As you can see here, Digit has identified that Darth Vader's lightsaber is red and that a red box exists in its environment. Now, how crazy was that, right? So let me break down why this is considered to be revolutionary. The next frontier for large language models and robots is their ability to generate independent thoughts. I mean, imagine this robot contemplating, I need to figure out which command to use. It taps into an LLM to think things through. For instance, it might recall that Darth Saber's lightsabers are red, pick up a red box, use its internal engine to identify the tallest spot, and then gracefully place it there. This marks a significant leap into the future. In a recent article, Google's DeepMind CEO, Demis Hassabis, referred to Gemini as a new breed of AI. Remember, Google's DeepMind is the powerhouse behind AlphaFold, AlphaCode, AlphaGo, and the more recent Gemini Pro and Gemini Ultra. Hassabis highlighted the potential of incorporating touch and tactile feedback for truly multimodal capabilities in robotics, describing it as a promising avenue. Google has already taken initial steps in this direction, introducing the Gato AI model in May 2022. This model demonstrated versatile skills, from playing Atari games to captioning images, and even using a robotic arm to stack blocks. And there's even more. Google showcased the RT2 project, where large language models played a pivotal role in helping robots understand and execute various actions. This, coupled with Tesla's groundbreaking advancements, paints a vivid picture of the future. And that's all that we have for Tesla's Optimus Gen 2. And I can say, we're only witnessing just the tip of the iceberg, and the growing attention and investment in this field underscore the profound impact these developments can have on our world. Please hit that subscribe button if you liked this video. Thanks for being here, I'll see you in the next one.